Alright guys, so before this video starts rolling, I would like to say a few things. Uh, this was recorded on an iPhone 4, so not the best video quality. And um, it was quite shaky. I wasn't really steady. So, you know, not up to the usual quality that I have, whatever that may be on my channel. Anyways, go ahead and enjoy the video. Alright, so, welcome in inglorious 720p because an iPhone 4 can only do that. Anyways, I've got a lot of parts right here, yeah. and this is going to be my brother's new PC. So, let's go over some of the parts, and don't get mad at me, I'll explain why I chose some of these things before you go off rambling. So anyways, I have everything we need to build a computer except the motherboard and processor, which we'll be getting later, just waiting for Zen to drop so that we can drop some bucks on it. Okay, anyways... Uh, why not start with the graphics card? You're already gonna yell at me. Oop, goodbye hard drive. Right here, it's an Asus Dual GeForce GTX 1060. Yes, the 3 gig version. Alright, yes, the 3 gig version. Very informal video, did I, did, I, did I say that? Very informal. We don't focus on quality here. So, yes, GeForce GTX 1060, 3 gig version, very good deal on it for 150, uh, 150 bucks on Jet, with a few promos and some mail-in rebates. And, um, yeah, I don't actually need that much graphics horsepower as a gaming PC goes. As far as a gaming PC goes, my brother will only be playing, like, TF2 Gary's Mod and Heroes and Generals, and maybe a bit of CSGO, like, nothing actually graphically intensive. He's playing maybe, I don't know, Overwatch? Yeah. No, but, but, no. like, no GTA Five, nothing like that. He plays other... He just... He doesn't play those sorts of games, so we don't need that much graphics for his power. Um, yeah, it was just a good deal. Yeah, I know. Should have sprung for the 6 gig version, but I mean, whatever. It's all good. It wasn't that much more expensive. Alright, got a Cryowig H7 to cool our CPU. Yes, it'll work with the new Zen processors, too. Why did I buy it? Because it wasn't a uh, 212 Evo. Actually, I bought it because it had some white on there. We wanted to do black and white, and maybe a bit of red. Uh, Supernova next... Uh, 60 650G from EVGA, a 650 watt gold power supply. Um, this one is fully modular, and the reason we're getting this is because we're going a little eye candy. You're going to buy some custom cables, just maybe the ATX cables and the PCIe and the CPU. A um, little bit of eye candy in there. My brother wants that for some reason, I know. And that's... Oh, good, yeah. Uh, one terabyte Western Digital blue hard drive for my brother to store his porn og, um, dank memes and rare pepes, as well as a Samsung A50 Evo 250 gigabyte SSD. We're gonna actually run Linux on this thing. I would have, I would have just went for a 128 gigabyte one, which is what I roll on. But my brother's probably gonna download a lot of games, so yeah. And uh, eight gigs of, of this DDR3 RAM. Yeah, when Zen drops, we're probably just going to have to buy DDR4, and I'm just going to throw that in my machine. So, uh, yeah, there's also this case right here. Right here in the box. S340. It's a mid-tower thing. Um, yeah, we don't have all the parts yet, so I'm just going to um, install the power supply, and then the storage, and leave everything else to be. So, uh, there's the case all nice and opened. Yeah, don't leave your Swiss Army knife there. Oh, dang. So, yeah, a uh, little bit more rambling on. Uh, our budget was 600 bucks, and uh, yeah, if we had 500 bucks, like the 1060, definitely would have gone with the 1060 and i3. Uh, 600 bucks, I could spend a bit more, so I decided to just spend it on eye candy. Uh, so, yeah, that's the story. And um, a bit more processing power as well. If we had 750 bucks... I might have just got with the 10, um, sorry, the 6 gig version of that card, or maybe even try to squish in a 1070. At 600 bucks, you can't really squish in a 1070 without making a lot of compromises. So, um, yeah, that's a story in that. At 600 bucks, I want to spend more on the processor and, like, other various things that we'll need. So, bigger SSD and the fully modular power supply. Anyways, uh, yeah, there's the case. We're going to go ahead and open some of this crapola up and, and do the thing with the thing and hope I don't run out of storage prematurely so go ahead and open up those thumb screws because uh, these things are just I can't do them oh there we go yeah my brother went to get a screwdriver this is like really glossy plastic 
eh, I don't know how I feel about the sound that makes. I mean, I guess it's an okay case. The S340, like, everyone uses this thing for some reason. I don't know how I feel about that plastic. It's... I would prefer metal. Maybe I should have splurged and gone for a fractal design case. That would have probably be better. The thumb screws on that thing were on way too tight, and you can't really see anything in the in this inside of this case. But yeah, I go ahead and put the SSDs there, and we're gonna. Wow. Oh, I don't yeah. know if I. I don't know if this was the right call for a case. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna also put in the power supply back there. All right, and there's the uh, power supply. I'm gonna go ahead and pull that out. Also got nice black cables, so we can still stick it with the black cables. We're not worry about modding later. Yeah, I was in the under the impression that this case was a lot less glossy. All right, go ahead and put it in. So we're gonna install it with the fan facing down. And hopefully, oh, there's no, there's a bunch of screws and stuff in there that we'll have to take out. We should probably take them out. Uh, no, no, no. Just, just slide it in there. And just tighten the thumb screws. I can access that stuff from the back panel. I think there's a bit of mounting hardware in there. And like motherboard stuffs. Uh, I think that comes with the motherboard. Never mind. What the heck? Yep, recovered box from the hard drive cage. It looks like just some miscellaneous stuff. The box just had some miscellaneous cable ties, and this is like USB stuff and. Things for the headers up front. Alright, so I just took off the front of the case here. And the air filter. And you can just draw, just slide this right into the drive cage. And put the screws in later on those parts. Alright, had to take the power supply out to get to that screw right there that you see. <laughs> to secure the hard drive in correctly. Alright, so the hard drive is right in there, secure. You can see I have three screws on that side and the previous screw over there that you saw. Alright, time to go ahead and put the SSDs right there. Alright. Just take it out, you're not on a box therapy. <laughs> yes, I am. Whoa, you have a, a disc. It's just, 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 oh, oh. So, oh, wow, fancy ish. I just want to just, just take the CD. I want to know what's on the CD. I, I don't think that's how it works. Remember well. what Linus said. What did Linus say? You don't need CDs. Don't look at the manual. CDs are for nerds. Okay, so there's our Samsung SSD. I think it looks nice. Uh, I don't think you can get it out. It's pretty cool. Ooh wee. It's, it's a sudden cut. Anyways, um, nothing really happened after this. My brother just put the uh, SSD into the tray. There are some screws um, under it, but uh, we just decided to go for it, to forgo that, and we just put the SSD right on the tray and screwed it in. And that was about it. And after that, we just routed some cables, so you really didn't miss much then. Anyways, more on the full build later. Much later. Well, we just have to wait for AMD's new Zen processors to launch, and then we'll buy something. Or if my brother gets impatient, we'll just end up getting something.